Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, my loves. That's the towers on the bottom of the deck there. <laughs> All right. So today's reading is about being afraid of changes happening in your life. And, you know, what's coming? What's coming towards you? Fear of the changes, being afraid of. Well, because, you know, you're, you feel like you're in your comfort zone. You don't want to step out of it. So let's have a look. Got the high priestess in reverse for the overall vibe. Your feelings is strength in reverse. What you don't know. Eight of swords. Anyone else hear my neighbor taking a leak? I hope not. What can you do about this? Not the neighbor, the... We're back to the reading. Back in the room. What's coming in the near future for you? Judgment. Outcome. The bottom of the deck is the five of cups the outcome is the three of wands so that's great three of wands is like your ships are coming in everything's gonna be groovy you know prepare that's what you're afraid of is the problem isn't it you're like i'm, I'm afraid to change because i don't have the foresight to see what's coming because i can't see what's coming i'm terrified I think that's why we're all scared to die or something. Well, I, I'm not particularly. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm going off on a random tangent. Um, it's one because you don't know what's coming, you know. So it's it's terrifying. And uh, I can't see right now. If I don't think this is a love reading, I don't have many love cards. It's not feeling very lovey. So the overall vibe is is the high priestess in reverse. She's sort of like saying, um, "What is your, what is your gut telling you?" But your feelings are that you're terrified. You know, strength in reverse is is basically weakness. It's it's the opposite of having courage. Um, you know, that's that's sort of where you're at now. Um, you're doubting um, your abilities, your, your your strength. You're doubting that you've got what it takes to do whatever this is about, and. Um, I'm sort of hearing you questioning, I sort of feel like this is about a job for some reason. I'm sort of question, hearing you question yourself whether you've got the discipline to do this, whether you, you know, do I have this? These negative thoughts are sort of putting you in this space. This is a prison of your own making. Negative thoughts are the doubts that you're putting out there are, are, well, scientists say positive energy creates positive energy. And that being said, well, negative energy will create negative energy, right? So you got to start thinking positively that you do have what it takes. You are good enough. You've got this. You have got the discipline, you know. 
You don't need to doubt your abilities. Tell me more about this. What you don't know. The doubts are literally just yours. No one else is doubting you. And if anyone is doubting you to your face, they're not important. There's a sort of feeling like, as afraid as you are, <laughs> I can feel, I, I'm feeling your emotion. As afraid as you are of change, you're also terrified that you, you're going to miss the opportunity. It's, it's, it's not like opportunities like this have come up very often for you. So you're terrified, but you, you want it. And the fear, the fear of I'm, my lip, my throat's closing up. Literally, my throat shaker is like I can't talk. It's, I'm feeling the fear. What if? What if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? And then all of this is sort of taking over the fear of. But what if I don't get it? What if it doesn't happen? Little story here for you. What happened to me? I uh, I went on a hiking holiday once to the Grand Canyon, and me and my team of hikers we all hiked down to um, Beaver Falls. But you have to climb down this sort of cliff face basically that's just got chains and all the chains are wet because there's a a uh, waterfall really close by and then when you get down there you get to the bottom of that which is terrifying so I actually thought I was gonna die by the way and I got to the bottom and I, I was a mess I was just bawling crying then you got like a seven mile walk to Beaver's Fall Beaver Falls I can't speak and um, when we got there one of the, the guides uh walked to the edge of the waterfall and jumped off like did a backflip even it was just like whoo. and i remember watching in awe and going i will never do something that brave and then i was like what i just climbed down a freaking cliff face with wet chains and i thought i was gonna die but i did it so what's stopping me from jumping off of that waterfall and I stopped thinking and I, I was in the water sitting in it and I stood up out of the water and just walked straight to the edge and jumped. I didn't think, I didn't look over the edge, I just walked and like didn't stop. I, didn't, I wasn't even breathing, I was just like, and I jumped off and uh it felt like time stopped when I was in the air and it felt like the most amazing feeling uh, like uh, of achievement and bravery, courage. I, I, I uh, was going through a lot of the time and uh, I, I, was, I just got divorced and um, I felt like you know, completely alone and, and terrified of, of the big wide world on my own without, you know, my husband. And there I was jumping off a freaking waterfall. Big one? It's not, I mean, it's not huge, but, you know, it's big enough to be scared. And I did it and it almost sort of broke any other fear that I've had ever since. I've just been like, you know what? Let's just... I did that, I can do anything. I can do anything. And 
I think you don't realize your strength. You don't realize your power. And you're in your comfort zone and you're so afraid of leaving it and so afraid of what might happen when you do. But you can do anything. What's stopping you? And that was my thought in that moment. Well, why can't I? Why can't I jump off a waterfall? So what's stopping you now? What's stopping you from taking the step towards this thing that you desire greatly and, or, and are also absolutely terrified of? I think that you're... What I'm seeing here is that you're afraid of leaving behind things that are important to you. And that you'll be sad that those things that are important to you aren't in your life anymore. Let's have a look at that. This is kind of saying this is what you should do is leave those things behind and do the thing that you're terrified of. This is this one is about a prison of yourself, prison of your own making. I can't speak. And then this one is about escapism. You know, leaving behind what's no longer right for you, even though it's been an important, large, special part of your life. In the near future. Judgment, inner calling, all that, this, uh, this is how I see judgment, um, especially when death's in the reading, it's not, I was just looking at the bottom of the deck, it's not, especially when death's in the reading, but Judgment can be about when you have lost everything. This is kind of saying, well, now that you've cleared a space, you have space for something new and wonderful and uh, something will, will blossom in the place of the emptiness. This is be about you know finding your inner calling finally and you've been so afraid to do that but this is kind of saying whatever you're afraid of right now you're uh, terrified of leaving behind you're gonna do it and you are gonna find your feet real fast and you're gonna find your inner calling real fast and the outcome is the three of wands three of wands is this guy's basically looking out to the ocean and the ships are coming in this is kind of saying um be prepared because uh whether you like it or not it's gonna be great and and um this is your chance to shine this is with spell you know growth give me a little bit of clarification on the um eight of cups here for what you need to do it's just basically saying walk away from you're afraid to walk away from it's almost like I in this reading I'm finding it really difficult to get my words out it's it's like my jaw doesn't want to work ah. <laughs> Is 
there's a um you know when you're so scared and excited at the same time that you almost feel sick that's that's what this is that's exactly this feeling and i almost can't breathe and get my words out and that's that's the, the emotion that you, i'm picking up from you you got ambitions do you have them let them run wild <laughs> don't be afraid of your ambitions release the beast time to make a choice in your life you got a love is here <laughs> literally like I can't breathe <sighs> you have a choice you can stay where you are in your comfort zone and regret for the rest of your life like I would have had I not jumped from the waterfall if I'd not done it I'd have regretted it for the rest of my life, but I did. This is saying, you have these ambitions. Don't let your fear hold you back. Your outcome is. Judgment basically is also about the dead rising. Outcome is. Justice, the fool, ace of pentacles, the justice, does what it says on the tin, justice, you'll get what you want, the fool, go for it, throw yourself off that waterfall, Whee! ace of pentacles, new beginning, it's it's like manifesting money, wealth, abundance, um, uh, greatness, all, all that you desire. It's just pulling all of that in and saying, this is your new beginning. You've got this. Just go for it. If I could pick the card up. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I've got some runes, but I... I need to switch my computer on because I've got a little cheat seat for the runes and uh, I'm, I'm learning them okay but you want a rune? Not that one which is uh, legalities, peace, commitment. All right. Um, harvest is, is the word that it says there as well so you know harvesting what you've what you've grown and uh, making it happen you know you've you're afraid of what you've been putting your energy into and this is saying that you're it's gonna be fine everything here is saying whatever you're afraid of don't worry about it babes it's gonna be fine it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome go for it Nothing will come of this situation. I think that's kind of saying if you stay put where you're at and don't go for it, don't go full on full and throw yourself off that waterfall. It's not a waterfall, but you know, I'm using the, you know, It's saying if you don't go for it, then nothing will come of your life. And this ambition that you've got, you'll have lost it. And you'll always regret it. I'm going to take this into the extended, my loves. Um, I'm going to get some advice from the universe from you. And pull some oracle cards. Thanks for joining me. See you later.